Hi, I'm Laura from Jimmy Bean's Wool, and I am going to show you using Debbie Bliss Cashmerino Aran yarn and these Lantern, Needle, Lantern Moon Ebony Needles how to back out a stitch. We just had somebody on the live chat today ask us about it, and so we thought we'd do a quick video since we were already filming. So Ashley is going to try and zoom in just a little bit. And what I've got here so far is a little bit of a swatch, and you can tell me if you want me to move to the right or to the left. Or... Actually move up just a little bit. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So what I have here is just a little swatch that I've knit. And let's say that I messed up, and or I've knit one too many rows and I need to take a row out. Um, so I will try, and we'll see if we can get this on the video. Um, basically what you're going to do, if you want to take these stitches out, right, is you're going to try and put this needle, is it looking okay? Yeah, yeah, I think it's okay. Um, you want to take the empty needle, and you want to put it in the hole right below the stitch that you're going to try and pull out. So if you see right there, there's a hole. So you put this stitch in, or you put this needle in there, and I'm still just kind of holding my yarn a little bit taut. Put that in there, and then you can take the stitch off of the needle. That's probably kind of hard. Actually, why don't I... Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Then you just take it off, and you can pull the yarn off. And see, now the stitch is on the right needle. It's been unknit. Um, and so the working yarn is on this stitch now. So if I want to take this one out, you see this hole right there? That stitch right there? You want to put the needle in there, get it all the way in there, and then you just pull that stitch off of the needle and it pops out. So now that stitch is over here, it's been unknit, and the working yarn is on this stitch. So I can take the whole row out by doing that. Put that in the hole, take it off. Put this one in the hole directly underneath, take it off, and pull it out. And then I Tighten my yarn a little more. Put that in there. Pop it off. Put there, pop it off. Put there, pop it off. And sometimes, you know, you end up knitting one too many rows. You did the wrong stitch. There. And then this last one's always a little weird because you can find out where the hole is because you just want to find out where this yarn is going through. Put that in there, take it off, and then all of a sudden I have one less row. Is that visible? Yep. That makes sense? Yep, sure does. Okay, so you can zoom back out, and that's basically it. Um, you know, you can do it on this side too. You know, if I wanted to take one more out, I just stick it in there, take it off. Stick it in there, take it off. Sometimes what happens is I end up going too far in a pattern, and I was supposed to have changed or supposed to have started. Let's say I was supposed to have gone from stockinette to seed stitch and I forgot to do that. Um, and so I'll need to take a few of the stitches out. And that's the way I do it. So that's it. So I'm Laura from Jimmy Bean's Wool and hopefully that was kind of helpful. That's how to back out a stitch um, on stockinette in the most simple fashion, simplest of fashions. So I'm Laura, thank you so much. Thunder rumbles on this American summer night There's kids on the corner Stuck in a switchblade fight And the rock and roll bands Play for